Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With Bubbles. Can't forget Bubbles. Because I won't let you. No doubt. So. S continuing the last finale of our swipe series. The grand finale of the swipe series. Absolutely, unless someone comes up with something they'd like to see. Okay. Then send us a comment. Yep. Sounds Other like than that, I think we've covered quite a bit of swipes from now. Absolutely. This should be number six. Absolutely. So, yeah, if you've missed all the previous ones, go to the description. There's a link for a playlist that shows you from number one all the way through to number six. It starts off with how I mix the pouring medium. So you can actually mix your colours and then start the videos after that. And With the old famous playing card yes where it all begins see how it all goes for you the addiction is real we warn you so what are we doing in this one bubbles well i thought um because quite a few people have been asking <coughs> how we get um the ca swipes to come out the way ours do right so i figured we'll show you what's a ca swipe so all we're doing is we're going to take this one here, which is my favourite purple CA you make. So CA, short for cell activator. Absolutely. So I'll jump right in and I'll show you what I like to do with coloured CA to get different <coughs> effects. <clears throat> and I'll just quickly... Give that one a little stir because that is your custom Athena with the dioxidine in it. Yep. And I seen the dioxidine was poking its head out. Yeah, it separates over time. So, what a lush colour. So, all I'm going to do to start off with, I've got my, this little piggy enchantment as well. So... I'm going to start off with just this small tool. Now, I've got a floating pillow. So anyone doesn't know what a floating pillow is, there is just a lot of pillow paint on there. That's that right. has not been spun out. So once you spin it out, it really thins it out. If um, you hear the word floating pillow coming around at you a bit, all that means is that they've laid the paint on quite thick and have not spun it off. So what I'm going to do first, I have just the purple CA there. Now all I'm going to do is just run a fine slither of that colour like that. Which is cell activator as well. Is it? Or colour? That one's actually paint. Okay. So there's only one cell activator and two colours that you've put on it. Yeah. Like yeah. a loaded palette knife swap. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, though, is show you the difference between adding the two colours to the purple CA. Yep. And then I'll do a swipe with just the purple CA. Okay. So that way you can see the different effects in the cells and why sometimes we use the two different ways. Right. Gotcha. So all I'm going to do, my slide angle... Right, so, <coughs> and you see straight away there, you can see the two colours coming in between the purples? Yep. But, if I go just like this, so that is just the purple. Yeah, just the purple cell activator. So I'll actually bring it up so you can see it. Ooh. So, reason I'd go with this sometimes is because I just want a bit of different colour shading through it. Yeah. It's just to change the effects of the purple CA. So you can see, it sort of starts to look like a, what do you call them? Like a pearl pour. Yeah. 
how you see it, the the pillow is actually soaking up a lot of that CA so you're just getting that slight little purple outline around your cells where if you add that little bit of um, colored paint they stay a lot more bold yeah so it, it does just depend what you're actually going for yeah you may just want this little bit of purple outline just for effects around something yeah but if you wanted a bit more bold and a bit more dominant on there, add a little bit of colour. Yeah. And that's why I don't add a lot, because I'm actually going to do a big swipe through the centre. So that way, these palette knife CA swipes are just going to be the feature around the edges. Right. And it gives me another excuse to use that custom colour you make me. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn it round just so I get the pattern going the same weaving way. Alright. So that way, having them side by side... From the top to the bottom one, you can clearly see... The colours that are in it. Yeah. And just this one, it's got a lot more definition in the cells. Like they stand out that little bit more because the yeah. colours through them. We'll see how that one fades in a bit more. So, as I said, it just depends on what you're going with, going for in your composition. Yeah. Just on what you use. Effects. Yeah. And there's no special tip or trick to it. It's just, um, really, I think with these is, it's just a matter of picking what colours you like and giving it a go. <coughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'll let them sit for a minute. I think what I'll do is, the video after this one, because this is the last one for swipes, Yep. What I'll do is add an extra one in the playlist. Yep. Which is how to make your custom selectivator colours. And that can be the last one. So you can look at that, see how the colours are made. And give it a go. And then have a crack at it. So now with this one, we're just going to do a basic, basic swipe. Yeah. So all the idea of this one is just to show you how cool... Something so simple can look. Yeah, okay. By just doing your two CA swipes either side. And then we're going to roll with one of these through the centre. And because I've got the floating pillow, they should, should meet up a bit. Right. Notice I really emphasise. You should. Should. <laughs> yeah. Because it's usually when you say this is definite. Yeah, it doesn't happen. You That's that. the problem with fluid art. Sometimes it just has a total mind of its own. And we are just the passenger. Yep, so never ever feel discouraged because oh, no things go bad, trust me. Oh, yeah, and I mean, it can be something as, as simple as you didn't realise, hey, it's damn hot in here today. Yeah. So your paints are going to thin out. Yeah. They're not going to dry like they normally do. Or it's freezing cold in here and my paints aren't moving. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we're so quick to blame ourselves, but you're not taking in your environmental factors. And sometimes it can be as simple as, is that shelf level? Yep. And that's one of the most <coughs> common ones I think people miss. Yep. If it's not level as it dries, everything ends up wonky. And we're too busy blaming ourselves like, geez, we're having a crap day. Can't yeah. get anything right. But it may be all the elements and the factors are right against you. Or even grabbing the wrong container. You've grabbed black paint instead of black cell activator and swiped over the top. Okay, so everyone, that's a personal dig at me there from our student versus teacher where I handed the teacher the black paint instead of the CA. 
<laughs> in saying that, you made me look really good that week. <laughs> yeah. I don't take it back at all. No doubt. So you can just see I'm just doing... Just layer in different colours. And nice and simple. Really no right or wrong amount either because it's all up to you and a little bit of experimenting on different size pieces and yeah. you'll get to know. It will. You will. Like, the more you practice, the easier it gets. Yeah, the it more really you'll does. look at something and you'll go, haha, I know exactly how much I need on that. But it all just comes with... Um, Experience. Time and practice. Yep. And a lot of stuffing up because you go, right, that didn't work there. Next time I'll try this. Yeah. And that's the cool part of it. The experimenting is where I think it all is. Because sometimes that's just where you find your own thing. Absolutely. And you don't need to use fancy pigments when you're just starting out. You can just use basic tube paints. Oh man, there's some awesome tube paints out there like your Matisse range, your Pebios. Yeah. Got some great colours and bling um, too. What the, what's that other one? Jay Sonia, Montmartre. Yeah, Montmartre's great. Yeah. So. One of your favourite tube paints is Montmartre. Yeah, it is. My all time favourite tube paint. Yeah. Is Montmartre. And what's it called? Pearl Purple. There you go. Didn't even have to think. Did you see that, guys? No delayed reaction there. It's my ultimate favourite. And it's cheap as it's like five bucks a tube. Hence why he always has three spare on board. Ready to go. I do. All right. So I think right now we've got more than enough colour for this piece. Yep. So what I'm going to do, grab back out our little small dude. And I think this is like this size MDF round, this size tool, really good to start with instead of using the bigger, heavier ones. Yeah. Start off with a light one like this because you can still get some amazing patterns and effects. Yeah. And you're just getting used with a little bit of paint and... Yeah, that way you can do multiple swipes on it. Yep. But it's still only eight inch round. But what's that little swipe tool? Two inches by one inch? Yeah. And that's the thing, you're not going to feel guilty if things do go wrong and you've just wasted money and blah, 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 yeah. because you haven't wasted much. It's no big deal. So now what I've done, we've got a black CA with a little bit of purple there. Just for a little bit of effect, see what's going to happen. So that purple selectivator as well. Yep. Cool. It's a twofer. That's pretty. All right. Love those purples. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I thought just a little bit of blue to break it up on the edges. And So, never be in a hurry. You may have gone, you're always going to find where you first start your swipe. It's where the most CA is going to sit. <clears throat> Not always a big dilemma with a floating pillow because it'll probably go overboard. Yeah. It will. That'll spin right up to the edge. So, don't worry about it. So what we might do, I'm going to grab our magic skewer out. Which, can you grab me a fresh one, Doug? I I've, can. I coated that one earlier and it's got crusty bits. There you go. Alright. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do now, something nice and simple. And we're just going to link them two up like this. Really simple. Super simple. Nice snake. Up and down, up and down. Pop the bubble. Pesky bubble. See, it's staring at me. There's a bit of a tease then. So. Try and get the Wombat's version of the centre, not the bubbles. Because the bubbles isn't always so accurate when it comes to finding the middle of that spinner. And you watch. 
That's one about doing that. Not me. Thought I had it. Yeah. It was way <laughs> off. See what I mean? So definitely get the Wombat's version of the middle of the spinner. Don't go for bubbles. All right, so now we've got that pillow moving. Yeah, I can see it starting to move to the edges. You should be able to see just off the edge of that camera, so that little lip there. Yep. So that's telling me that pillow's really started to move because it's made it to the edge. So that's sort of getting close to a, what we call our halfway mark. So if you want to go in, and I think this bit's a little bit too bold for my liking. You've still got enough paint in there. Just to add a few little embellishments or a few little snake weaves. Just to tidy up the little bits you sort of go, hmm. Looks a bit bland. Or oh, I just don't like you. There we go. Can't have a white line when your teacher is watching you. Because <laughs> he will be going bubbles. You know better. You didn't wipe your skewer, which is a really good tip for me to tell you right now that I did it. Every time you do that, go like that. Wipe that excess paint off because sometimes it really can wreck your day. And it's just a matter of a few seconds. Wipe the tip of your skewer off. Just get that excess paint off that you just put there. And that way you're not going to um, spin it out and then go, how do I get all them white lines through my colour? Well, that would be because you put them there. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, good lesson learned by Bubbles. Wipe the skewer, guys. In between each time. And so this is just a matter now. Have a play till you like it. you got to remember it's your piece. So you got to like it first before anyone else can. There we go. So, I'm thinking that one little bit there. We're just dancing. So you can see, we absolutely did nothing over the top, hard or fancy there. All we did was the CA swipes and just a normal swipe through the middle with an S through. So let's give it another spin. Let's open her up a bit more now. I like to spin these a bit faster because I really like to get things moving so it really opens up for you. But that's just my personal preference. A lot of people believe that if you spin like I do, you get distorted cells, but I really haven't found that a lot. But yes, it can happen. I have seen it in people's work. Maybe I've just been lucky. A lot of the time is because we use really thick colours. Yeah. If it was thinner, they'll move a lot more. <laughs> then I'd be in trouble. You'd be in big trouble if they were a lot thinner. So, always too, like any other painting we do, and especially if you've got the floating pillow, wipe your excess off. Because that is really a good guide to that last spin we do. And always go both ways. That way we're evening those cells back out. What's going one way comes back the other. So it centres it out. So I've got no more extra dripping off that now. So I can lift her up. And that is what we end up with. That's gorgeous. And you've seen how really simple it is to do. Two little CA swipes and a swipe through the centre. But it comes out really effective and you use yeah. minimum colour. There no, wasn't a great deal on there, was there? No, that's 
Gorgeous. And you can see with the two colours we've put in that purple, just how much that does stand out. Yeah, it does. So. What I'll do is I'll do a flyover so you can get a real good close up look of it with decent lighting on it. And what I actually like, we trapped just the purple CA swipe in these gaps here. That's cool. Which I think is pretty cool. So that is my version. That's lovely. Thank you, dear. I like it. That's really, really nice. And they are. They may look complicated, but it's... it's yeah, they're really, really, really not. No. And you could see that then. Nice and easy. Once you know all the little tips and tricks of the trade, like, they are really, really easy to do. You know, and we've done a few where showing you just that angle on the palette knife. Yeah. Keep that up with all of these when you get to your fancier ones. Exactly. And you do that, you're going to rock it. You really do some stunners and get some happy dances. All these tricky ones that we're doing tonight... Are not tricky. Are not tricky. They just look really tricky when you see the finished product. It's exactly the same as on part one where you put your colours on and swipe. That's it's right. exactly the same. But cool effects. But super cool effects. So we might um, pause it here. Okie dokie. And you can show what you're going to do. No worries. Okie dokie. We are back. We are back. To the guru. So what I am going to do is, on my one, I've used a black pillow. I do love a black pillow with these. Yes, they're pretty. My best red ones have come out with um, blue, uh, black background. So I'm going to use a gold selectivator. So that's another cool thing to know too, the metallics and the pearls really pop on black, don't they? Yeah, they do. White, you just don't see their magic enough. So I'm just going to add that bit of gold there. Now these are just straight cell activators. Yeah, you don't know anything to yours, do you? No, there's no paint yet. It's just all straight cell activator. So there's a, a blue one. Blend that through. And then we'll go with the purple one. So there's the purple. I love that purple. It's really a beautiful colour, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I've sort of overlapped them. So you'll see the blue goes into the gold, the purple's got bits of blue through it. Yeah, that way you get your effects of the two tones by using just the going over the CAs. Yeah. Not adding paint to the CA. Yeah, that's it. So it just gives you little trippy effects. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some colours down. So I'm going to use neons because I love them. <laughs> Anyone that knows the wombat knows that. So we'll go King of neons. Neon yellow. Because I just love neon yellow. And that's the thing too, they're the Barnes neon colours. Yes. And they're, they're actually really well priced items and you get a lot for your money. They are. The purple. That's another thing you can go back and have a look at too. We did one where we actually got $6 pigments from Kmart. Yeah, we did. 
and they're good to get some bling when you start now with. That's it. I mean, there's a whole heap of different videos we have on the channel that have some crazy things in it. And the thing is, yes, companies like um, this little piggy, you've got um, eye candy, black diamond, all of those pigments are absolutely stunning. Perlex. But, oh, I love my Perlex. How could I nearly forget them? But you work your way up to that. Yeah, you don't have to dive into the deep end and buy all expensive stuff to start with. No. All right, so, you've got that. Gotta put some cell activator on that, which is now black. Like that. I'm just going to... Straight up through the middle of it. That's the thing, you'll notice, like Bubble said, where you first put cell activator on, it's really heavy. And you'll get actually bigger cells where that is compared to down this end where it gets thinner. But when you've got the floating pillow, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It's it flows it's off. It's going away. All right. You can do what Bubbles did. Add some scoops through it. And just holding your skewer at different angles will give you different patterns. And you can see too that Darren's not taking his skewer out of the paint when he's doing that. He's working it all the way across when you went from one side to the other. Yeah. That was in the whole time. Yeah. You're not lifting up and going back in. But that's especially when you're going across one whole side. Yeah. Like all this stuff here, I'm just leaving the skewer in. I'm not dragging it out. Just for crazy effects. Now, if you've got your skewer straight up and down, you're going to get fine little lines like that. If your skewer's on a 45 degree angle, you can get really wide sections through that's going to split your colours. Just for different effects. Well, All you right. can scoop and drag that paint out like you just did. Yeah, I think I've got a bit of white something in there. Yeah, I do. No problem, you just scoop it out. And scooping back around. Draw a pattern through it. All right. So we'll give this one a spin. Just get rid of that. Otherwise it's going to go everywhere. And once again, make sure you get the wombat version of the middle of the spinner. <laughs> yeah. Not the bubbles. Yeah, go for the center. It spreads out evenly that way. I'll tell you, it's a work in progress finding that middle. Damn, that look cool. <laughs> How cool is that? And it's just a really fun way of getting different effects rather than just a basic everyday swipe. Um, there's that. We'll pop that up. So you'll see. Probably hard to see in the light there. So I'll, I'll do a flyover of it anyway. That way you can see all the little trippy bits through it. But that's just a fun way of coming really up with effective. some really effective designs. You don't have to be stuck with a basic swipe or a basic radial. You can mix, match, you can do anything you want. If you wanted, you could do a radial swipe in the middle and then loaded palette knife swipe around the outside. And then over here, you could do just a basic cell activator swipe. 
you can link them all together just to make up whatever you picture in your head. Yeah. Go with the creativity and just have some fun. Yeah, you're not limited to what you can do. Like, you don't have to just do one thing. It can be ten different things on the one piece. It's entirely up to you. I mean, look, we even did radial scoop and drags. I did... Um, Remember those? Flip cup, radial scoop and drag with selective... I did. I went stupid. I had like ten different things in it. That was a thingy majiggy. But yeah, that was fun. And that's what it's all about. It's all about fun, so... Exploring. Absolutely. Find what you like and have fun with it, guys. So, guys... That is it for the end of this series. Like I said, what I'll do is I'll put the cell activator video on after this so you can see exactly how I make these coloured cell activators so you can make your own. Give it a go. Have, have a crack. Fun. Have a bit of fun with it. Um, if you've enjoyed this whole series, please click like, share and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Thanks, Tinker Girl. That way you get to see all our buddy, uh, all our other videos as we release them. <laughs> Tongue tied and twisted. Tongue tied and twisted. Um, also, go back and check out some of the other videos on the channel. Because there's like a whole heap of really cool bits and pieces on there. Like Lots of tips and tricks through there. I'm sure there's Bloom um, playlists on there. Yeah, there sure is. There's... Cell activators, different pouring mediums, different types of swipes, blooms, you name it. It's A little on bit there. of everything to help you explore. Yeah, so... Enjoy your adventure. Have a flick through. Let me know how you like it. If you're in my private group, um, Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, which is a free group, um, and you've had a crack at doing this, Post your pictures up. I'd love to see them. Oh, I'd absolutely love to see them. It'd be great, so... Share your adventure with us. Absolutely. All right, guys. That's it. Have fun. Take care. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next, next one. one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.